fight coming up next. It's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at his A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer in John. I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Cannoneer is 12 years his senior. The reach is identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Wang. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Great. shot at somebody in that top 10 or perhaps even top five. Cannoneer gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Cannoneer gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. Nice stick with the right hand. Single collar tie now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Just over three minutes to go round one. Jared Cannonier with that powerful right hand tonight. You gotta be careful not to eat too many more of those. He made his debut as a heavyweight. Right. And now he's down at 185 pounds, just demolishing dudes. Jared Cannonier is a is a savage. And whoever gets in the octagon with the better know they got their hand free. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big power shot there. Oh! He needs to 
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. And he landed the right hand there. Right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. So a crowd pleasing approach for him here in round one. He is laid up. There's another power takedown there. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He is tremendous at oh, passing the guard. Oh, round two is next. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. That was beautiful. I don't know how he survived that knockdown. You're going to go out there and you're going to knock him down again. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. It's broken, I think. Oh, that punch will count. Land is flush. Unbelievable. He's, He's hurt bad. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. Good job keeping that hit. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want those. <laughs> So Jared Cannonier with a window of opportunity here. Beautiful jab to get the striking party started. Beautiful jab. And then watch him to follow with leg kicks. Remember the kick against Anderson Silva? He blew his leg out. Anderson had to be carried from the octagon because of the kicks of Jared Cannonier. He's a big, powerful guy that's become a fantastic mixed martial artist. Oh, 
All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Five minutes remain in the fight. What a oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO! Bang! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.